Many people remember playing made-up games as children. One game, thought up by two middle school kids, is now making its way across the nation. <laughs> Taking a walk by this, you may think it looks like a jumbled mess. But to the athletes playing it, it's flowing naturally. This game is John Ball. One, two, three, John! Where you take your wiffle ball bat, and you have these big balls from Target, and you basically use your bat to hit the balls at other people. It's a unique sport made up of many different game types within it. Players say getting bored isn't an option. It started with two kids in Minnesota, one of them named John. Gaining popularity, John Ball is making its mark on college campuses nationwide. So currently John Ball is in Minnesota, uh, North Dakota, Kansas, Illinois, Pennsylvania, and um, I think at one point we were trying to start up a chapter now. But... Making its way down the Mississippi River, players say the game is a fun way to stay active. I think it's become popular because it's a fun sport. It's a way for college kids to just loosen up and relax and just do something goofy and it's like memories from childhood and it's a fun sport. John Ball gets all different types of athletes, even people who have never grabbed a wolf ball bat in their life. Many people come to college looking for a new experience. With John Ball, you get it. This one it's more unique, I think, because um, well, it's dodgeball with wiffle bats and it's pretty much a lot of fun. That's why I love John Ball. <laughs> These students have found a way to bring childhood recess to higher education. With photographer Kelby Leak, I'm Kyle C. Rockers, reporting for Studio One. This last summer, the creators of John Ball organized their first national tournament. It was a weekend full of John Ball and meeting with other chapters.